As I create this look, I was inspired by the beauty of Siargao Island, located at the eastern part of the Philippines. Known as the surfing capital of the Philippines for its towering waves and deep blue waters from the Pacific Ocean. In 2019, it was named by the Condé Nast Traveler Readers as the best island in the world. Being a beach lover and a sun-kissed kind of girl, it was not a hard decision to choose this as my next beach destination for my 31st birthday. So in November 5, 2019, I celebrated another year of life in this island. It didn't fail me. From the majestic deep blue and green waters, symphony of colors like sunset, century-old natural rock formation and caves, golden white beach sand, beach waves crushing against the shore, calming sea breeze air, and the dazzling sunlight making the sand sparkle like thousand jewels. This island is beautiful beyond words. That's why I'm making this look to recreate the memories I had in that island. Alright, so let's start our skincare and makeup tutorial for a beach inspired look. Okay, so first I apply the toner. I'm using Newly Clean Saver Toner. It is a product from Korea. So it will prep my face for the makeup. And secondly, the serum. It's newly AC Clean Saver Serum. So I put a pea sized amount of this serum into my face. Alright, so I'm gonna have to apply it in my neck as well. And the third one, drying it up using my mini electric fan. Alright, so this one is very handy. I uh, electric charged it and it really lasts long. This is a very important step in your skincare or routine because um, you have to, to dry up everything that you applied in your face prior to applying another set of creams. Okay, so you can use your fingers to check if it's already dried. So it's ready for another um, moisturizer. So it's a moisturizer cream. I'm using newly AC Clean Saver Cream. All right, so after applying moisturizer cream, you need to dry it up again using the electric fan. So this time, um, it should be longer than the usual because you want to make sure that everything will be absorbed by your skin. Okay, so while doing this, you can do other stuff like checking your emails, check your messages, your Snapchats, your Facebook or Instagram. Sometimes I drink coffee or drink a cup of tea while listening to my favorite music so it keeps me hydrated and in a good mood as well. Okay, so after applying your moisturizer, uh, apply the sunscreen that uh, suits your skin. So in my case, I'm using Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense Mineral Sunscreen. It has an SPF 50. It has the highest protection for your face. So for our uh, weather here in the Philippines, it's uh, very recommendable to use the highest SPF for your face to be protected from the, the ultraviolet rays of the sun. So, and it is also uh, friendly in my in my skin because I have a uh, acne prone skin. So this formula was for a lightweight formula for sensitive and acne prone skin, and it also has a universal sheer tint, and it really suits in my skin tone. It's also important to keep your lips hydrated um, while doing your makeup. So here I'm using a lip balm I bought from Japan to keep my lips hydrated and moisturized for the rest of the day. Okay, so this is just an added step in my skincare routine uh, because for me it is very important for you to protect your body skin as well. So here I'm using uh, Nivea uh, lotion with SPF 50. 
Okay, so this is the end of our skincare uh, routine. Now I'm gonna show you my makeup routine. Um, I'm gonna uh, start it off with my primer. So here I'm using the Benefits Makeup Primer. It is one of my favorite because it suits my skin color and it is a poreless uh, cream that um, also covers some imperfections of your skin. Next, I'm using my liquid foundation, NARS. So here, um, I'm using a lightweight liquid foundation that's very um, close to my skin tone. Alright, so don't use the one that is really far or very white or darker from your skin. Um, in my case, um, I am acidic, so I'm choosing one shade lighter from my skin tone because as the time goes by, um, it will look darker in my skin. It is also very important to have a clean tool or the foundation brush um, so it will help you to set the liquid foundation in your face. So in my case, I'm using the Sephora blush. So if you're going to invest on something with your makeup collection, um, I think you should do that with your makeup brushes because I think um, that will make or break your makeup look. So here I'm using um, Sephora uh, foundation brush, specifically designed for foundation. So it will evenly spread your foundation liquid in your face. Usually after the liquid foundation, we use concealer to hide some dark um, under eye and also the, some pimples and imperfections in our skin but in my case I'm using a pimple concealer this is to help me um, dry my pimples not only to cover it up um, but to try it and heal it okay so after applying all the foundation and concealer to my skin it's time to put some colors in my face so i'm gonna use a gel tint um, from tony moly i bought it from japan and is one of my favorite gel tint of all time this gel tint works wonder because you're only gonna apply it one time and it will last for the whole day so usually I'm using it um, before the powder blush on so it will make my blush on last longer to set our liquid makeup I'm gonna use the setting powder so this one I'm using the very popular and most favorite uh, setting powder which is the Laura Mercier so it is a translucent uh, powder and it goes well with my skin. For my brush, I'm using the Sephora powder brush to set my loose powder in my skin. So I'm spreading it in my face and in my neck to make sure that it's all evenly spread. Okay, so this is just an added step um, for my makeup because it's, for me it is very important for your hands to be clean and sanitized all the time while doing your makeup and especially you're holding your face most of the time. Alright, so let's move on to everyone's favorite which is the eyebrows fillers. So here I'm using the Benefits Eyebrow and the shade is an ash gray color because my hair is light blonde and it should be one shade darker than my my current hair which is blondie. Now um, it's a shade of ash gray because I want it more um, natural looking and softer than my natural black eyebrows. So here I'm going to use the Sephora eyebrow brush. It's a blending brush, um, so I'm gonna use it to blend the eyebrow fillers that I used earlier. So I'm gonna start in the middle, going to the arch, and then to the end. And I'm gonna do that on the other side. So from the middle onto the arch and the end. Okay, so just remember that your eyebrows are not identical twins. They're actually just sisters or fraternal twins. So don't be uh, pressured that they should look exactly the same so in my case I'm making it less complicated 
by um, following my natural shape of eyebrow. So I'm just filling up the, the center first, going to the arch and going to the uh, end of my eyebrow. Next um, is my favorite concealer, NARS. So I'm gonna use this to have a perfect eyebrow, okay? So I'm gonna share with you how I do my eyebrows by using this concealer. I'm, I'm using this to clean up some edges and if you can see, this is to shape my eyebrows as well. All right, so you can see here how I do it um, from the right side first to the, the left side. So I'm making this like um, just a fraternal twins eyebrow. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. Alright, so I'm going to use my friendly electric fan. This is my favorite tool of the day. Alright, so we're halfway done with our makeup. So let's move on to the exciting part of this makeup, which is the eyeshadow. So here I have a set of natural color of eyeshadow from NARS. So I'm using a natural color brown for my base. So using MAC blending brush, I'm applying the brown shade color. Alright, so you have to blend it and put some something in your eyelid as well. Okay. Alright, so here I'm gonna use um, eyeshadow glitters um, just to make my eyes pop. Alright, so since um, this is a beach inspired look, I will not add so much colors in my eyes. This eyeshadow was inspired by the dazzling sunlight making the sand sparkle like thousand jewels in Chartel Island. Here I'm using the eyebrow highlighter from Benefits. It's also one of my uh, finishing touch for my eyebrows because it highlights my eyes. So here I'm using the beige eyeliner from NARS. So it's one of my favorite. It gives me uh, a dulled eye look. And also since this is a beach inspired look, uh, your eyes should be softer. And you should avoid applying dark eyeliner. And also don't forget to put underline eyeshadow. It should be the same color of your base eyeshadow. Okay, so the next one is how to make a perfect eye wind uh, using the liquid eyeliner. So what I'm doing here, I'm um, doing it in the edge first. I'm drawing like a wing and then going in the middle. So here I'm doing the same in my, in my other eye. Okay, so just like my eyebrows, I'm drawing it like just um, fraternal twins. Doesn't have to look exactly the same. So I'm what I'm doing is just fill and correct. So if I think that it's not um, the same, I'm gonna do the other side, um, and then until I reach my desired shape, I win. Okay, so one of the understated but important um, step is the eyelash curler. So. Um, as we all know how important the eyelashes are. So here I'm curling it up before putting my favorite eyelash mascara. Okay, so here I'm using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's one of the best eyelash mascara I ever had. So I'm using this since two years ago. I never and never changed this mascara. So since this is a beach and smart look, I refrain myself from using false eyelashes. But this is really enough for me to have a longer eyelashes. Next one is the blush on. So here I'm using a brownish orangey shade of color. So it's just like a sun-kissed kind of blush. And it's uh, good enough for me to look like I just got out of the sun. I also add some colors in my nose bridge, um, the same color of my cheeks, so it gives uh, some depth in my face, not just the straight, um, flat, white face.
Okay, so for a complete uh, sun-kissed kind of look, so add bronzer in your cheekbone and do the dark face like this. Alright, so this will give um, shape to your uh, cheeks and also gives you um, a Kim Kardashian slash Botox Queen kind of face. Of course, apply it evenly in your cheekbone and also in your nose so it will give you a really nice nose bridge. Alright, so last but not the least, uh, it's the lipstick. So it's my Chanel in a shade of pink. So this is my uh, natural shade um, pink color. So I'm using this uh, since this is a beach and spark look. I want it to be natural and fresh. really like this shade because it just brings out the natural color of my lips. Okay, so don't forget to set your face again with a setting loose powder. Um, I'm gonna set it a really, really light using the Laura Mercier setting powder. Of course, if there is an eyebrow highlighter, we also have a cheek highlighter. So I got here from NARS the cheek highlighter. So it will give some highlights to your cheek, um, like uh, just a sunlight kind of reflection. So it really gives you a glowing and a dazzling skin. Alright, so let's move on to our hair. So our look will not be complete without the peach wave style of hair. So I'm gonna use um, this iron um, spray. So it's uh, from John Freda um, Iron Spray uh, Freeze Ease. This is to protect my hair uh, from the heat um, coming from the curling iron. Okay, so you have to dry it off first using the hair dryer, so make sure it's not wet because if you're gonna iron it with a wet hair, it may damage the strands of your hair. And after that, you can do the sectioning. Okay, so you do uh, the left side first. So here, um, I'm gonna do the front side of my hair and then I'm gonna curl the end of my hair like this. So you do that um, for the rest of your hair. So here I'm using um, a curling iron and uh, I put the heat into 140 degrees because um, um, I don't want to burn my um, hair too much since it's already bleached. Um, I maintain that kind of heat um, throughout. do it at the other side of your hair so um, you're gonna do the same uh, procedure um, cur curling it um, at the end of your hair only So we have a beach wave hair inspired by the waves of Chargal. Alright, so for the curl to last longer, you need to hold it using a, a holding hairspray. So here I'm using the Pantene hairspray. So I spray it all over the curls of my hair. Hooray! So we're done with our beach inspired hair and makeup for today. I uh, hope that in the next video that you will still stay in tune with me. Till next time! 
Alright guys, so that's the end of my makeup and skincare tutorial. So as you, as you can see, I started it with uh, skincare because I just want to protect my skin from any harmful um, sunlight um, from coming from the sun and also um, to moisturize my skin before putting any chemicals, um, full chemicals, like makeup on it. If it's hot outside or something, I know that my skin is protected inside and out. So, the key word here is protect, protect, and select. <laughs> so, be beautiful, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished my, um, my, my skincare and makeup tutorial. So, I hope that you have learned something. I'm gonna sh uh, share with you the, the products that I use each each layer of my skin. So, you can actually buy the same thing or um, if you want something like cheaper or something part of that. I've been using a lot of makeup products from the very cheap one to the high-end one. So I have compared them in terms of the quality. And it doesn't mean that if it's um, expensive, it's also, you know, good. Um, there are cheap products that are actually good. So I hope that you have enjoyed it and you learned something from my first ever makeup tutorial. Thank you so much and have a blessed day everyone. This is Jazzle. It's me Jazzle.